Today, I'd like to talk about chainsaw repair. This chainsaw is at least 25 years old and has run great every time I've ever used it. But I let it sit on the shelf for about two, two and a half years, then tried to start it. It did not go well for me. My first indication I may have a problem was this. When I pressed on the primer bulb to try to get fuel into the carburetor, nothing happened. No fuel. So, let me show you what a good friend of mine from Colorado did to fix this for me. You'll need some forceps, because you're going to be reaching into some very tight areas. For example, the fuel tank and underneath the carburetor. What has happened here is the fuel lines have simply rotted out. They can no longer hold fluids. There are two different size fuel lines in this particular chainsaw, and I found a company called Arnold actually sold these fuel lines as a repair kit. I don't know about this note about 2011 and earlier. Maybe new chainsaws don't use fuel. Wouldn't that be interesting? A hydrogen-powered chainsaw. Anyway, the diameters of the two fuel lines are listed up here. In 2023, price was just shy of $5. But if it's out of stock at your favorite store, you can dig much deeper into your wallet and go get it at Ace. However, paying this exorbitant price is much more preferred than buying it at Lowe's and dealing with their self-checkout nonsense. A quick sidebar to the executives of Lowe's. The whole purpose of your business is to take money out of my wallet and put it into yours. As a matter of fact, the taking my money part is the simplest part of your business. Yet, it's the one step that you've decided you want to skip. Why will you pay an employee to put something on a shelf but not take money out of my wallet? My particular Lowe's, that I will no longer go to, has mandatory self-checkout on a regular basis. Anyway, moving on. The first step. Try to clean as much of the sawdust off the chainsaw as possible so you can keep your carburetor clean while you're working on it. Remove this cover. Remove the air filter. Ah, you might want to clean it while you're at it. Remove these two nuts. They hold the air filter case and the carburetor in place. Before you go any further, pay close attention to the routing of the throttle cable. During reassembly, you want to make sure it goes in the same place. You can now slide the carburetor off its mounting bolts. You'll now have access to all the different fuel lines that you want to replace. They go to the carburetor, the priming bulb, and into the fuel tank. You can see here the fuel lines that go into the fuel tank are a really tight fit. They use friction to keep the fuel from leaking. With that said, trying to route a fuel line through there is a real pain in the gazoon tight. So here's a neat little trick to get that fuel line started. Put a point on the end of it. Grab the end with forceps, have somebody hold a lighter underneath it, and twist the fuel line a little bit as it's heating up. It'll eventually melt and make a point. You can now poke this point through the fuel line case and grab it with forceps. Then gently pull and twist while you're pulling. Well, that's about it. After you've done changing out all of the fuel lines, reassemble your chainsaw, and it should work much better for you. Thanks for watching.